Well, there's been a constant push for what they call comprehensive immigration reform. That long phrase means to the American people amnesty, rewarding people who have broken the law. Amnesty itself is, to grant amnesty is to pardon immigration lawbreakers and reward them with the objective of their crime. Whether it's citizenship, whether it's working in the United States, whether it's being here without fear of the law, that's rewarding people with the objective of the crime they've committed, which is either to cross the border illegally, or we should remember that people who are working here illegally are also committing crimes of fraud because of document fraud and identity theft. Then we have 80 to 90 percent of the illegal drugs consumed in America come from or through Mexico. There's a number approaching 100,000 bodies in Mexico from the drug wars down there. It is a calamity of huge proportions. But the people that are for open borders are those who say, I really do want border security, wink, wink. Those folks are the ones that are causing the trouble in this country today. There are only three people that benefit from the Senate Gang of Eights immigration bill. And, and here are the categories that are in. Elitists that live in gated communities and believe somehow they have a right to cheap labor to take care of their gardens, mow their lawns, vacuum their floors, and clean their toilets. That's one category of people that benefits from open borders and cheap labor. The second one are employers of illegals that they have working in the factories in large numbers doing low-skilled work. We should remember that the highest unemployment rates we have in America are in the lowest skilled jobs. We don't need more low or unskilled people. Uh, what we need to do is broaden the middle class, and that means a tighter labor supply. We have 80 different means-tested federal welfare programs in this country. This is a cradle-to-grave welfare state. So the employers of illegals are the ones that benefit, as, long as, as well as those that live in gated communities that want cheap labor. Sometimes it's the same person. The third category are Democrat power brokers. By now, most everybody should understand that Republicans are not going to benefit from an open borders policy. The newly arriving, the 11 million, by the way, is not 11 million. It's 11 million times two, three, or four. And we have, to, we have to somehow eliminate that 11 million number, but it's a multiplier of 11. It's not the number. But Democrats understand this, that the 11 million times 2, 3, or 4, if registered to vote, will vote 2 to 1 or maybe even as much as 5 to 1 for Democrats. So that's why you see Barack Obama and Chuck Schumer and others salivating over amnesty because they would put in place a permanent Democrat majority in this country. They would destroy the rule of law, destroy it completely, at least with regard to immigration for all time. We could never reconstruct it again. And this is not reversible. This is a policy that would go on in perpetuity. And this, so the Gang of Eights bill in the Senate is perpetual and retroactive amnesty. It goes on forever and it sends an invitation to those who were deported in the past. You all come back now, you hear? And they're not gonna enforce a law against anybody unless it embarrasses the president politically. So you have to be a pretty violent felon for them to get aggressive on deporting you. That's the scenario we have. It's raw politics and it's about time at least the Republicans woke up those that are complicit with this program that is being offered semi-logically from a political perspective by the President and Chuck Schumer and others.